Hey guys, welcome back to another video in InfoSec Pat. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Multigo. I believe this is video 7 in this playlist. So, what we're going to be talking about is what is Multigo, how to use it, and some fun stuff we can do with it. This is a part of the social engineering module, so let's get into it. All right? So, as you see here, what we're going to learn in this module is what is Multigo, the social engineering uh, you know, attack base basics, and I mixed these, uh, these slides up, but ready to play, let's go. But we're not going to go quite yet. I want to give you a little more background about Multigo, just you know, a high overview. So what is Multigo, right? Multigo is an information gathering tool built into Kali Linux. First, we have to open up the application. What we're going to do, we're going to be doing that shortly on my Kali box. But before we do that, I already signed in. And I want to show you guys how to register. You guys need to register before you log into the community edition in order to follow along. So maybe once we get to that point, you can pause the video, go out, sign up, and let. But if you are signed up, good, and then just follow along. Okay. So some information we can find is people. We can find companies, websites, domains, DNS names, IP addresses, and much more. We're gonna do some examples in this video, and like I said, just make sure you register. You know, with a username and password for Multigo, that's a very important part. All right, so if you guys are ready, let's go have some fun. Let me uh, log into, or let me make this bigger, full screen, switch. All right, so let's minimize that for now. Let's go out to the interwebs, okay? So while that opens, what we're gonna do is just go to google.com and you can just do Maltigo register. And you can click on register a Maltigo CE, which is community edition account. If we click on here, you just have to put your, zoom in a little bit, just put your name, your first name, last name, your email that you want to register with, make a password, and then just put I'm not a robot. And once you sign up, you should get a registration link to your email and click on that and just finish the registration. And once you have that, once you open Multigo, it's gonna prompt you to put your username and password and maybe like a little code and just follow the steps next, next. It's very, very simple after that, all right? So once you have that open, let me make this larger. All right, once you, let me make this, all right. So once you have that open, I apologize for that. Once you have it open, you'll see a home page just like this, okay? So let me see. I want to see if we can zoom this in a little bit. Let me see view. I'm not sure if we can zoom this in. But what we can see, what we see here is the Multigo Transform Hub, okay? So there's a whole bunch of plugins that we can utilize. And obviously, I like Free99 because this is for demo purposes and for educational purposes. So we can just use free. Now we can see all the transforms for free. So right now it says 20 out of 68, 66 shown. Okay, so we can just look at these. These are the free ones. And you can just hover over them and just install. Like let me try to install one. Let me do, have I been pwned? Hit install. Are you sure you want to install this? Yes. And I'll go out, install it. And it says complete, boom, we're finished. And now that is installed. If you hover over the installed application or the installed transport hub, you'll see it says refresh, details, uninstall. Let's go to details. You can see some details about that that you just installed it, right? Breaches and leaks. So if you don't know what, what is have I been pwned, you can go on haveibeenpwned.com, put your email, and you can see if your email address or any information about you has been leaked to the dark web and so on and so forth, okay? So compliance, uh, cyber and digital forensics, cyber crime, etc. okay? But I think a lot of people use it for breaches and leaks. Okay, so we can close this out. Now that is this right here, right? So now how do we perform these actions, right? Good thing you asked. Up here in the top left-hand corner, we have this little plus with a little page. 
If we click that, we have a new page that says Graph 1. Okay? So right here, there's nothing here. But on the left-hand side here, we have the, the entity. You see this? So here we can go down and we can look at different stuff, right? We can see, okay, infrastructure, AS, autonomous system, banner, net block, cider notation, uh, CVE, the common vulnerabilities and exposures. Okay, so you see all of this down here, but if we go down, we can see a whole bunch of stuff, right? So let's start out with a website, for an example. Let's see, what where's website? Uh, can't even see. Uh, do, 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 do. Why can I see? Let me see if I type it in. Website. Maybe my eyes are shot tonight, but it's been a long day. So we can drag this, so you can just type website in if you, if you want to go search for a website. You could drag this into the middle pane here, and now you can see this. Now I think you can, I can make this larger, perfect. And the way I did that is I just scrolled up on my keyboard, all right? So we can change this, we could double click on here, and we can just change the domain, okay? So let's say for an example, let's do try hack me. Okay, dot com. Okay, so tryhackme.com, if you guys aren't aware, it's an awesome learning platform for beginners to, to intermediate. They have some advanced rooms, but I like, I like tryhackme because it's hand holding. It's good to, if you're just trying to learn. There's also a hack the box. I also like to do Vone Hub machines. Those are fun as well. But we'll use tryhackme because it is an educational website, so I'm sure they wouldn't mind. So, and we're not doing anything, we're just doing some reconnaissance, right? We're doing some recon and information gathering about them, right? So it's already publicly out there. So if we right click on here, you can see the transforms, okay? We can look at all transforms. Okay, let's see if we can make this lot. No, we can't, but it's all good, okay? So if, for example, if I wanna see DNS, we can, Right click, click on DNS, and let that do its thing. Now it's gonna go out and look at DNS, okay? Let's go ahead and look up, uh, what did I just do, DNS names? Okay, let's do IP to DNS, okay? And then now we have some IP addresses. Let's go ahead and see, do, 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 do. website title, okay? Now we have a website title. Let's zoom this out a little bit. Move this over, so we have some more real estate. Okay, let's bring this up, bring this over here. Whoop. All right, but uh, okay, let's cancel that. All right, so as you see here, we can see some information about them, right? So you can also right click, you can look at, you know, email addresses, email addresses, okay? See if there's any emails out there that's associated with this, and you guys get the point, right? This is just doing some website reconnaissance, and then we can save this. You know, we can save it, and we can do whatever we want with it, okay? Like, we can copy, save all. We can save this as try hack me uh, website, okay? Just so I know it for later on. And that's gonna, that's gonna be home. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Now we can do another one. We can just do add a new, add a new block. Okay. And then instead of website, let's do a person. Let's see if person's up here. Okay, person. If you wanna go ahead and do some reconnaissance on someone, like we'll do, for example, Bill Gates. Okay. So we have Bill Gates, which is the founder of Microsoft. He's, a, he's an awesome guy, right? So if we right click on here and we just say, uh, let's see, URLs. Let's see what URLs are associated with him, uh, with emails. What, uh, let's see, let's go to all transforms. Let's try to, uh, let's see, DNS names. I don't know. We'll see what comes up. This might take a second, okay, and see if we get anything. But it's the same kind of process. It probably takes some time to propagate and run through those uh, 
processes. But it's the same exact thing. And let's see if we can get something. Let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, DNS. Let's see IPs. Let's see what else. See if anything generates. But sometimes, obviously, there's some false positives. It's a it's a tool, right? Like we're gonna. This is how you utilize a tool. And yeah, and that's it. So again, you just save it. But all right, we're gonna go ahead and not save it because we don't really get anything. But you guys get the point. And we can close this out. And we can come back to here, okay? So that's a pretty, you know, we can refresh this, we can update it, see if there's any updates for it. I'm gonna actually try to update to see if there's any updates, probably not. But that is pretty much it for Maltigo. And until next time, please like, subscribe, share, and hopefully you guys are enjoying these little videos like I always say, and take care, awesome.